I was a PhD scientist before I was a prostate cancer patient. I have been on hormonal therapy or androgen deprivation therapy almost continuously for over 20 years. And these drugs remove the testosterone uh, to stop the prostate cells from growing. But unfortunately, the side effects are enormous. As men live longer, they're dealing with the side effects more. The impact psychologically of these drugs is actually more difficult on the partners of the patients than the patients themselves. Well, loss of sex drive a sexual interest when they may have already had problems with erections and sexual function from previous treatments. Fatigue would be next and hot flashes, weight gain, depression, sleep disturbance, increased risk of, of diabetes, increased risk of a, a fatal heart attack if they have a, a, a high risk of, of a heart attack. There's a whole collection of things called metabolic syndrome, of which the weight gain is one of them, but they're all pre precursors to diabetes, stroke, or heart, or, or myocardial infarct. That's a heart attack. And one of the things that doesn't seem to be realized by a lot of patients is a lot of this is age-dependent. If somebody says, I can't stand the side effects, I never want to go on these drugs again, they may be in their 50s or even younger. If somebody says, I, I don't think I'm having any of the side effects, they're usually over 80. As we get older, our testosterone goes down anyway. So the change is much, much less the older you are. Men who are young, younger are going to be hit the hardest. If the hot flashes are so bad that they're waking you up in the middle of the night, then you're going to be fatigued during the day. If you're fatigued and you're uh, not getting off the couch, you can get depressed. If you're depressed, you're not going to be sleeping well. So insomnia, depression, and fatigue are, are so often linked for, for not just patients on these drugs, but cancer patients. Because these drugs can increase the risk of anemia, they increase the risk of loss of muscle mass, they increase the risk, risk of weight gain as fat. So now you have a combination. You're not sleeping well, but you're depressed. And now you've got less muscle to move your body, more mass to move, okay? And you're anemic, which means you can't bring oxygen to the muscles as much. And now just walking up a flight of stairs becomes difficult. And now you're even more depressed. They can't protect themselves from most of these side effects. If they, if they take a good lifestyle uh, to stay fit during the time you're on these drugs, then you're going to have less decline during at the time you're on drugs. You're always better to do anything than sit in your apartment. But if you really want to get look at what could be sustained activity, social engagement in the context of exercise appears to be factors that promote long-term commitment to exercise. And with ADT, you really need that, that intensive commitment early on if you can get it.